the Zenith hearing aid model A2A is finished. I've replaced uh, five capacitors and uh, made some battery battery uh, made a battery pack for the anode and uh, replaced the single cell D cell for the filaments the tube filaments and I've made a couple of modifications just because I wanted to be able to illustrate it actually working so let's start at the beginning what I discovered besides some capacitors that were bad was that the microphone this crystal microphone I'm shaking it because I hope you can hear the uh, guts the element is damaged in it so the microphone in the in the uh, unit itself was damaged and is unusable additionally the earphone no longer works it's also crystal and so it no longer works and uh, so I had to come up with another microphone and uh, a microphone solution and an earphone substitute um, I have a another earphone similar to this one and uh, but I can't illustrate the use of the earphone here on the video so what I've done is I created um, took the connector for the earphone and have hooked it up to a little simple Radio Shack amplified speaker so you'll be able to hear the uh, uh, the sound coming out which would normally be your earplug then I replaced the microphone with an external connection that I created in the hearing aid tapped off of the wires of the microphone and came out of the hearing aid with a jack here um, as you can see and connected this crystal microphone from a previous project you might recognize that name Miniphone that was the secret agent man recorder this was an extra microphone that I had on hand it's a crystal microphone just like this one except it's about twice the diameter so I can't I thought of taking this one and taking it apart and putting the element inside the hearing aid but it, it wouldn't fit not even close so and I could purchase one of these on eBay uh, new for forty dollars so obviously I'm not going to spend forty dollars on a microphone element for a thirty dollar hearing aid that I'll never use ever again but just put it on the shelf in the box and, and it'll be a talking piece so I modified it uh, without damaging any of the original electronics just added an external microphone so that's what this connection is about then of course we had this 45 volt battery pack uh, that is no longer available hasn't been available for many years and uh, you can see the, uh, the plug connection on it that it had originally this battery powered wire battery wire battery supply wire that was on here I showed you in a previous video was completely ruined so I made a new one a three conductor twisted pair a twisted uh, wire battery cable that had and put the original connectors back on it and wired it back into the original plug but uh, in order to illustrate the use of the unit today I'm going to hook up a one and a half volt ground and a 45 volt connection to this using little jumpers here so here's my 45 volt battery pack five 9 volt batteries wired in series and then my filament voltage which is the one and a half volt that's what this was one and a half volt I've taken a one and a half volt D and hooked it up through the, the uh, battery power wire so that's it in a nutshell one of the other things that I wanted to show you, which is kind of a chuckle, if you will look at the size of this battery and the size of this battery, this was the first Zenith hearing aid, portable hearing aid, that uh, Zenith made in 1942. And this was the battery 
complement that was required to run this thing for a number of hours. I don't know how many hours I've not done the math, but my guess is it was on the order of several hours, perhaps several days before you had to replace the batteries of continuous use. But here I have one of my hearing aid batteries that works in the hearing aids that I sometimes wear. And this battery lasts for a week or two. And look at the difference in the size. <laughs> There's the battery that operates one hearing aid. And here for uh, 2019, and I've honestly, they make rechargeable ones now that don't even use external batteries. Uh, so there's the new battery for hearing aids, and here was the 1942 first version. So if anyone tells you that battery technology has not improved, or battery use technology, the technology to consume electricity, uh, battery power they just not they're just not they don't have a clear picture we really have come a long way and we've got a long way to go uh, if we're going to have electron electric cars and electric airplanes battery powered cars and airplanes but this is an illustration of how far we've come in 60 years 70 years or whatever it is uh, since 1942 all right let me hook this up and I'll illustrate the best I can. We're going to hear a lot of feedback, but we'll illustrate it operating now. All right, I've got the microphone here, the speaker here, which would simulate the earphone. And we'll turn the unit on here. You can see the on switch and you can hear the feedback already. This is the tone control, very limited in its ability to manage the tone it just switched in and out capacitors uh, to kind of soften the edge of the microphone so I'm going to talk into the microphone and move this over to the uh, speaker so you can hear me talking kind of so you can see it's working and uh, uh, the volume control here um, definitely works see the feedback is increasing so um, there you have it. If you could have this in earphones instead of on a speaker, you would be able to hear all of the sounds in this room. And uh, fans running and the cat uh, uh, running up and down the stairs, a dog barking downstairs, you hear all of that nice and clearly in your headphones. Using the Zenith hearing aid 1942 uh, add your comments below if you have any questions and I didn't make anything clear let me turn this off just let me know and I'd be happy to come uh, respond